In this example, we're going to divide polynomials. We're going to divide y cubed plus 125 by y plus 5. The first thing to look for when we're dividing polynomials is if they are written in descending order, and both of these are. The second thing to look for before we write out the division problem is if there are what we call missing terms. In other words, if there is a y cubed term, is there also a y squared term and a y term and a constant term? In this case, there isn't. There's a y cubed term, but there's no y squared term or y term. We are most likely going to need some space for that, so when I write y cubed plus 125 under the division sign, I'm going to either leave space or actually, and sometimes this is easier to see, write in the y squared term with a zero coefficient, the y term with a zero coefficient, and then the constant term. And I divide this by y plus 5. Now to divide, I think y cubed divided by y is y squared. So I write y squared up in the quotient. Then I multiply y squared by y plus 5. That gives me y cubed plus 5y squared. Now I subtract. And if you see, if I, I left, I wrote a 0y squared, it's easy to see that I subtract y cubed minus y cubed, which is 0, and then 0y squared minus 5y squared, which gives me negative 5y squared. I bring down my next term, which is a 0y, and then I divide negative 5y squared by y. Or I can think what times y is negative 5y squared, and that will be minus or negative 5y. I write that in my quotient, and then I multiply negative 5y times the divisor y plus 5. That gives me negative 5 y squared minus 25y. And I subtract again. Negative 5y squared minus negative 5y squared is 0. 0 y minus negative 25y is positive 25y. And don't be afraid to say that out loud or whisper it if you're in a classroom to help you keep the negative signs correct. And we bring down the next term, 125. And we think 25y divided by y is 25, and I write that in the quotient. And finally, I multiply 25 times y plus 5, and I have 25y plus 125. Since those are equal, when I subtract, I have a remainder of 0. The quotient is read right off the top of the division problem. This would equal y squared minus 5y plus 25. 